Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to another night with me, Ledlin. Uh, today, we are going to play, or rather, tonight, we're going to play Bastion. Now, um, this is an, I wouldn't say this is an old game, but it's been out for a little while. Um, it originally came out, it was originally debuted in September 2010 at the uh, Penny Arcade Expo. And it actually was nominated for a few awards at the Independent Games Festival, and it actually won awards at E3 prior, prior to it even being released. Um, it was originally released on the Xbox Live Arcade, and in August it was uh, available for digital download through Steam, which is where I got this from in the first place. <laughs> um, now, I've never played it before. Um, but I've been told that it's an amazing game, and as you can already tell, it has an amazing soundtrack, which was composed and produced by Darren Korb. You can also actually buy the soundtrack individually. Um, not sure from where, but it's definitely there. You can get it uh, for sale wherever. Um, it's been very successful. Uh, during 2011, it sold 500,000 copies apiece, and 200,000 of which were the Xbox Live Arcade. But anyway, let's get started. Now, Bastion is an action role-playing game produced by Supergiant Games and published by Warner Brothers Interactive. <clears throat> All right, let's get started. Story. War mode, start a new game, no sweat mode. Start a new game with unlimited chances to carry on and defeat it. For less experienced players of all ages, note some achievements cannot be on this mode. All right, well, let's play normal. Before we get started, let's make sure I start my timer. Proper so. story is supposed to start at the beginning. Ain't so simple with this one. Now here's a kid whose whole world got all twisted, leaving him stranded on a rock in the sky. Oh, man. He gets up, sets off for the bastion, where everyone agreed to go in case of trouble. ground forms up under his feet as it point in the way. He don't stop to wonder why. Finds his lifelong friend just lying in the road. Well, it's a touching reunion. <laughs> he sees what's left of the rippling walls. Years of work undone in an instant. In the calamity. Okay. So the controls are very responsible. I like that. You can evade, left click to attack. That a survivor? No, ma'am. It's a gas fella, forced out from underground. Evade, evade. Kid pops him good. Fella got a piece of him though. Wow. Just break some stuff. I guess pick up whatever these things are. I'm not totally sure. But I'm sure we'll find out. Kid just rages for a while. <laughs> I love narration, it's so cool. Kid just rages for a while. Pretty much what I'm doing. Fucking shit up. Why? Not. An old repeater falls out of the sky. Ain't a gift from the gods, but it'll have to do. Got a holder still to spin up the chamber. Nice. Okay, so we have limited shots, but we seem to pretty much have unlimited ammo. And then he falls to his death. <laughs> really? I'm just fooling. Wow. <laughs> Dude, the narration is amazing. He's worked up quite a thirst by now, so that fountain looks real inviting. Sometimes you just need a drink. Okay, I press F to heal. Alright, cool. So the fountains. A school of squirts tunnels up around them. Must have fled here from the mines. Gotcha. 
Okay, so the fountains replenish your health tonics, and you only have three health tonics. I'm not sure if it stays that way or what. I don't know if we get more health tonics at once. Yeah, when injured, press F to use heal. He sets foot inside one of Selandia's famous watering holes. Inside's old Rondi, the bartender. The calamity got him for his drinking did. Then Kid finds his trusty shield. Oh, yeah. Hold shift to defend. All right. The security takes him for a petty thief. Shield up, boy. Then beat him up. Special delivery. Gas fellas. Snap, son. Windbags start turning up for last call. Oh, dang. This isn't too terribly difficult, but it definitely requires that you dodge. Oh, snap. Nice. More squirts start coming out of the woodwork. Hold shift the lock on. A big old fella pops out in front of the kid. Little fellas are trying to kill us. All we wanted was a drink. That's all right. These guys. Ooh. Kid sees the weight of the bastion out the window. It's a bit of a drop. <laughs> Let's see what's going on with this guy. Oh. Rondi always wanted his ashes scattered here. Oh, poor guy. Poor fella. All right, here we go. Press space to use the evasive roll to avoid oncoming attacks. Yeah, I got that. I got that. He gets a good look at things on his way down. He lands on top of a breaker's bow, and it ain't broke. Ow. Oh, breaker's bow. Pew! Sweet, sweet. I think like little Kid apple spies a good perch for some target practice. He knows he should draw the string all the way back. Okay. Word. What is this? What is this? Come on. Something stringy. The kid pockets a memento from a breaker. Once the fastest man in the land. Okay. Hold tabs, open up the pack. Something stringy. An upgrade material for the breaker. Oh. The stretch of stone. Can I use it? <laughs> okay, I guess not. That's fine. Again, hold shift and lock on the targets. Good news is the emergency defenses still work. Bad news is they're aiming for the kid. Oh, I took that one to the face. You gotta be careful trying to evade this stuff because I'm gonna roll off the side like I did earlier. Looks like a damn. That's my face. Okay, I guess I don't have to worry about rolling off. Keep oh, watch it yes, <laughs> Picks up a few pointers from a dusty old tome. 
Hey, cutie, you rolling. He's a mighty fast learner. Wasn't long before the kid could loose an arrow, strong and true. Black tongue. Okay, the black tonic is what allows me to use that. Okay, gotcha. Get some. Oh, I totally missed. Right back at you. Oh, that's cool. It looks like I can like shoot them back. He finds the distillery right next to the arsenal. Tough part of town. I want to go in the arsenal first. Dude, everybody the else probably knows. knows where the kid can pick the best tools for the job. Gotcha. A secret breaker technique that causes an arrow to bounce from target to target. Okay, I don't have that yet. Requires one black tonic per use. Okay, I don't have the equip weapon. Oh, okay, got it. Got it. Okay, so I guess Q is my special attack for each one. I think I'm going to stick with Whirlwind. And I think I'm going to go back to the repeater. Yeah. Cool. One sip of the spirits in that distillery and the kid will feel like a new man. Okay. Squirt Cider. Plus 10 maximum health. Dead rum, plus 10 critical chance, but it's only active when I'm at full health. And fetching fidge, fizz, sorry. Absorb stray fragments. Hmm. I think I'm gonna go with this one. Okay. Spirits provide passive bonuses. Gotcha, gotcha. Some of them squirts birthing like crazy in a couple of corn bins. I'm starting to think that the bow may have been a better choice. Mostly because I didn't have to reload them. But, I don't know. I guess I like this a little bit better. Just because it's easier, I can still evade and stuff. With the bow, I have to kind of sustain them. Oh, what is this? An old ferry barge sends the kid oh, on his way. Oh, wow, no, I didn't want to go here yet. The bastion's real close now. Oh, well. A chunk of alloy, smell of barley, and spoiled blueberries fills the air. Okay, an upgrade material for the cow. Scumbags. Kid maybe shouldn't have done what he just did. What was that? What the fuck? Oh man. Wow, this, this is a lot of people to fight at once. Bad time to run out of black tonic. Yes, it is. It is a very bad time. Oh, no. Not a good place to get it. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, 
those dudes are gone. Oh yeah. Get some bitches. Put some out of his misery. I don't know what's more annoying, the big dude spitting at me or the fuck these little things. He robs a scumbag of his last meal. I'm glad I leveled up then, because my shit was getting low. Okay, let's fuck this guy. Alright. That's one hell of a fight. the core to the wharf district. He steals the city's heart. Might as well. Kid has a feeling you better get a move on. Oh yes I do actually. Place is starting to fall. Place is starting to fall. Blowing up everything because I can. Oh, Jesus. See, that core kid took was the only thing making this particular rock stay afloat. Okay. Kid just keeps running. That's a good idea. Oh, no. Running, kid. Don't fall, don't fall, don't fall. It seems kind of lenient on you getting close to the edge. Like if you like, kind of walk At towards the edge. Skyways in sight. It doesn't quite make you fall, but if you like persistently try to walk off the, the, the edge. Then Whisks him where it needs to go. <laughs> that was kind of tough. Now the kid sees something stranger still. His mind races. Did anybody else survive? Sure enough, he finds another. I did? I did. He finds me. <laughs> we talk for a spell. City crest. There's a bit of the Bastion's power in that crest, enough to point the way to the cores. What's All this? I tell him is to set that core of his on the monument there, then watch. All right, let's do it. <laughs> We're gonna look around a little bit first, though. Kid ain't finished here yet. I can't have to think here. Okay. No, no, I got a place with that. I just want to look around a little bit. And just like that, the bastion comes alive. Hooray! Starts growing again. Growing stronger. Kid's got to put its power to good use. Now the bastion can send him even farther into the wild unknown. Oh snap. I don't know, I'm Bastion afraid. ain't gonna build itself. Well, not entirely. Did I fall? No, I didn't. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Alright, so I guess I've got to do this. Kid ponders what to build. Oh, that is cool. I can build stuff all over here. Um, what do we want? What do we need more? A distillery or an arsenal? I'm gonna go with the distillery. Makes time to sample spirits from my personal supply. Oh yeah. Um, still not really a fan of dead rum, mostly because you have to have it. It only works when you have full health, and from what we've seen, I don't really have full health all that often. Hardy punch, plus one chance to carry on if defeated. Damage surrounding foes if defeated. Weird. 
risky. 100% critical hit chance, active only when below 33% health. Cinderbrick Stout, 33% speed while defending. Hmm. I don't know, these are all pretty good. What's this? I already have that. Um... Hmm. I'm gonna go, since I'm bad, I'm gonna go with the hearty, the hearty punch. Hardy punch is so zesty, it'll let you carry on through the worst of times. Wow, this game! It's so good! Anything else new to say? Ain't always much to say. Nope. Dude, I am very Kid impressed. Kid don't know what's game. out there waiting for him. The Skyway. Now the kid can ride the wind to distant lands. Okay. Home base to harness the Bastion's power, seek out cores, and seek out cores across the city and beyond. What's this? Proving ground. Here the breakers once honed their skills and focused with their bows. Core detected. Find it and bring it back. There may be useful supplies here as well. And this is home base. What's this? Area clear. Dwarf district. Okay, I already finished that. So wow. Wow. <laughs> This may be a huge game. I don't know if most of this is just for show, or if this is really like one hell of a fucking game. Well, let's fly here. Workman's Ward. Now he lands at the intersection between bad and wrong. Ow. <laughs> Ought to be a core down one of these twisted streets. But which one? He heads for the squirt steps. Won't be no field trip this time. I love the narration. The narration is Some amazing. scumbag still feeding off the city's own trash. Am I taking damage from standing And there he is. The oldest scumbag of them all. Oh man. Gershaw. Oh shit, a boss! Get the some! The ain't done much for Gershaw's sunny disposition. Yep, it's such an asshole. I think I need to learn to like... They yeah, always said oh, Gershaw wouldn't go without a fight. I gotta find out who did the voice acting. It sounds like Steve Bloom, but I'm not. The rest of the path is gone for good, and his city crest won't bring it back. Hmm. Cool. No surprise. Likely gas fellas are hiding it from him. Up north is where the gas fella foreman used to live, tending to his flock. No white gas fellas all dress alike. Dragon Kids wondering the same thing. Jesus. Oh, dodge, dodge. Oh, He's no. telling himself he better watch his step. Yeah, sorry about that little uh, blurb earlier. I, uh, I alt tabbed to try and see uh, who the voice actor was, and it ended up causing a couple, a couple of problems. Why don't you break? And there it is, but it's locked down tight in an alloy cage. Oh boy. A blustery old form is keeping his fellas in check. Almost like he's showboating for the crowd. Oh, this is gonna be tough. <laughs> oh my god, getting my ass kicked. Okay. 
Okay, I think I got the hang of this. So, I don't want to go too far to the edge or the dudes will knock me around. And it seems getting close to this guy. And now right. there's a new marshal in town. Do they love me? That was weird. Nice. He hears the whole place groan, but it's too tough to fall. Might as well check the other side streets before leaving this hole. Wow. Okay, definitely got to learn to dodge those or just block. I keep forgetting I have this shield. Okay, so that's the way out. Shoot this dude in the face. Something sharp. I thought I already cleared this area. Why are there more geeks? Alright. Now I know I already cleared this part, but I don't know if this guy's responding to an item drop, so I figured I'd wander back down here and take a look at it. Okay, let's get over here and refresh our health tonics. And then. Whoop, whoop. He heads for the east side, where windbangs used to keep the local forge. Somehow that old forge is still standing. Away. People in the face. In the face. Woo. Right. Forge, what is this? Good, another black tonic. Go Inside ahead. the forge, Key can fine tune those instruments of his. Oh, okay. Something heavy. Select an upgrade. Okay, so that's what the uh, little shards are for. Sledgehead, plus 100% damage, plus 10% hit chance, or critical hit chance. Hmm. 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 I'm gonna go with 50% damage. Kids' lifelong friends looking fit to keep on fighting. Oh yeah. Oh, these are locks. What about something stringy? Plus two target penetrations per shot. Wow. Plus 25% draw speed. I like that. I wonder if you can like change them depending on. Huh. I'm gonna with go with draw length speed. of Mies gut. That bow's like new again. All right. Oh, baddies again. I'm stuck. Defend. Hey, hey, awesome. So I think we're good here. I think. I don't know. He comes back just like I knew he would. Just like the I core knew. hums in his pack. The monument's calling for it. Ask about the ragged hood belonging to some ill-fated Gaspella. The windbags used to be all right. Then the calamity took the floor out from under him. What the hell? I don't even know what the hell. Cool. Sometimes a single look says it all. All right. Monument. Kid does it again. Only fair he decides what we build next. Hell uh, yeah. Okay, and in that case, I'm gonna go ahead and build the arsenal. Because I want to change to the bow. The Bastion's a place of peace, but we can hold our own if we have to. I like the bow. Mirror shield. The secret technique that automatically counter blocks all oncoming attacks for a short time, made famous in a spectacular showing in the bullhead court. I'm gonna stick with Whirlwind. Throw a dancing shot. Ooh. I'm gonna give I'm gonna give dancing shot a try. Ain't much kid can handle with hammer and bow in hand. Ah, right. That's right. Alright, well, I think I'm going to go ahead and cut it there. I hope you guys enjoyed uh, Bastion. As you can see, this is an amazing game. It's beautifully narrated. It looks amazing. 
the gameplay is a ton of fun and it's it's fairly difficult it's not just you know you know you can't just steamroll through everything as you saw um, I fell off a lot because that's just because I'm bad but uh it's actually very engaging and I mean the attacks they feel like you're really beating the crap out of somebody with a hammer like you can you can feel it if you know what I mean you, can, you really feel like you're there beating people up the fact that the the earth or no, the earth the ground builds around you as you're walking around and the narrator narrates every little tiny thing that you do I find that absolutely just brilliant I do have to say <clears throat> never playing this game and then coming into it like this it is fantastic soundtrack is also very 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 good um, but yeah um, I hope you guys enjoyed it uh, I'm thinking about maybe doing like a uh, one night with Lanolin like extended edition where I play a little bit further into this because I feel like I, I've just barely barely scratched the surface of everything that's in this game um, so we'll see I might do a, a, a something a little bit later uh, continuing off where we are so thanks for watching guys and I will see you next time Bye.